talking. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm burnt out, but man, I'm grinding right now. Like I have so much fucking gray hair now more than ever before. I'm seeing it. I'm like, oh shit. All of a sudden, I couldn't grow any fucking facial hair. And now all of a sudden, I got gray fucking beard everywhere. It's fucking like the how quickly life just sneaks up on you a little bit. And, you know, I've been busy. I've been trying to work out. It's just been so inconsistent with everything going on at work. Uh, you know, I have my boss basically calling me and messaging me every day. Every day. It doesn't matter. He's right now he's on vacation. I got 15 emails and and a couple phone calls from a cruise. The fucking guy doesn't stop. I love him. But that's the mode I've been in. And I haven't had time to really process this now with fantasy football coming around and but there's a lot of work to be done at, at my current job for the next you know 60 days or so it's going to be a lot of work 60 90 days before everything settles down but um you know so we, we got we got a good team i don't know why i'm ranting about work because i didn't want to talk about that i just wanted to just talk about this random thing and you know even though i'm not really dating i was dating somebody from uh port charlotte i haven't heard back from him like we went on a couple dates and she's one of those people that is you know people have their own ways of communicating and like there's something like i'm a really good texter and and really really good texter and really good with uh meeting in person but the problem with meeting in person is that you have to with my schedule with parenting being one week on one week off is that i have to go ahead and at, you know, there's going to be long periods of time I'm not going to see you Because when I have my week off Maybe I'm out working You know, maybe I'm, I'm flying fucking somewhere Like I've been this whole fucking time Because I, I even missed my daughter's birthday You know, that's how busy I've been So it, it's been, you know, so for her She, that lady wanted For us to have dates and meet in person A lot, a lot, a lot And quite frankly, if you're not willing to come down here And quite frankly, you're not willing to text me To keep the daily communication going Like, I like communicating with people I'm connecting with Like, every day, like, that's just me Like, I like connecting, even if it's For five minutes every day, I don't care Like, it's like, I, I love if, if I'm like in a uh, Intimate connection Friends with benefits, boyfriend, girlfriend I want there to be, hey, what's going on Tell me, was, you know, sharing Sharing thoughts every day Right, whatever it is, like to have that transparency. But you know, if, if she's not wanting to do that, all she wants to do is, is send me a, a, a corny joke, and that's the communication for the day. And you know, you, you you need to be in person, and that's your demand. Well, it's not gonna work for me, and that's part of her conditions in being in a relationship. And you know, something I I can't do. And and that's where I was seeing this post on social media and I'm trying to read it exactly so I don't get it messed up but it just brought me to that thought process because of that example I just gave and let me go ahead and look at it real quick because I don't even have it in front of me I'm always fucking blind by the way now all of a sudden all this shit that I didn't have problems with now I do it's fucking hilarious to me fucking gray hair everywhere fucking I mean, I mean it's unbelievable you got to be kidding me. I thought I saved it. Hold on for a second. Anyway, I can't fucking find it. What else is new? Uh, but but it was a post saying that that if you're one of those people going into a relationship that says, this is who I am, and you got to deal with it, it is the wrong way of going into a relationship because you ought to want to change for your partner or adapt or flow within the context of love, of, of that energy of love. And I... I couldn't do, disagree with that post 100%. I I think that generally, you know, my definition of love back in the days was when you generally love to me is like a selfless act that you are bounded by this person and in a way they they inspire you to be this ultimate everything and anything to them and knowing that you adapting and flowing and how you want how they want you to be or what they'll make them happy that you're willing to do because their happiness and their joy outrides your personal desires and joys because seeing them happy makes you happy that's the way i saw it it sounds stupid it sounds crazy right think about i was doing that 
when I was young, when I was like in my teens and early 20s, like that was like my mindset. Like I was like, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, just be selfless, find the person. And then when you realize it's like, uh, that's not how it works, right? And you go through many trial and errors and you understand that now. And, and that's kind of where I'm at with it. It's understanding that in reality, people have conditions. Every relationship has conditions. Every relationship, everyone has uh, and from my end, talking to women, they have conditions. Like you cannot get past the door unless there's certain criteria that you have to meet. And, and th- whether you have to have six feet tall, whether you have to make six figures, whether you have to have a, a, a six inch pecker, whether you, you have to, um, a combination of those things, right? It, it's whatever, you know, your, your, wh- whatever the criteria is for a woman they're putting it out there up front and 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 my rebuttal to that saying of you know this posting online that people agreed upon was look i'm not i'm only triggering my conditional terms because they're being thrown to me from the get-go meaning that i'm not even going to get a seat in the office for an interview unless i pass this criteria i can i need to have nice teeth i can't be legally married Right. And all, all these things that, again, real world scenarios where people are wanting these conditions to be met, but on their own and their own self-reflection, they didn't do that. I'll, I'll, you know, I have a friend, God bless her, that she's in a relationship and she um, she won't leave for somebody if they're in a relationship themselves. So let me get this straight. You are in a relationship, unhappy relationship, and right now you're telling me that the only way you're going to leave that is part of it is going to be a person that is uh, single themselves, but you want them to deal with your breakup dynamic situation because it's going to happen because guess what? It's not just you leaving the relationship and dealing with your emotions on on that process, but we got another person that is not going to be very happy about that outcome. That you come in and you come in with me. So there, you know, people, you see the hypocrisy on that? Because that's a double standard. Like, why would you want the, your prospect person to be this when you're not even that yourself? And those are the things that I, that's where this whole mindset of traditional romantics, I, I laugh at sometimes because it's not, they're not truly understanding that. The mindset that you have to be in love, absolutely. It's very basic. You love a person by the core. You do, you give and take, right? But as we've gone on in life, people have done those things and they've been jaded and they're, they've they gone to a point where they don't want to do that anymore. That's what I find for myself in dating. The challenges is that I want to tap into certain things that most people already by this age, they don't want to tap into within the context of a relationship. And I understand that, but you know, again, if I haven't had certain things, why should I suppress that to appease you, right? Especially when you're asking me to to fit the criteria, the conditional criteria. Because if I was five foot eight and I was you know 100 pounds overweight and lived at home with mom, never owned anything. No matter how great of a funny of a guy or how much of a connection you have with me, you're not going to pick me. Women play chess. It's just more than one thing where the guys are pretty fucking dumb. Like we, you could be hot and if we get along and you're good looking and that, that that's more than half the battle right there. That's more than half the battle for a lot of guys. You're good looking. You take care of me in sex and you're you, you're pretty easy going to go, hang out with. That guy's not going to go anywhere. Trust me. I'm not saying he's going to treat you right, but I'm not saying that he won't cheat on you, but I'm just saying that he's not, you're his main partner. You're not, he's not going to look for another person. He may fuck around. And that's what that, with that relationship, now I think about it, where that girl was trying to find another person that was single, that was what the guy was doing. Like he was just cheating on her, but wasn't, but he did enough of the other things or she did enough of the other things that there wasn't going to be anyone to ever replace her and so i uh, anyway but these are the things that i find out there in the dating world so hypocritical when you talk to people and 
like like I always I always laugh about this one about polyamory, about how people they can't conceptualize the idea of loving multiple people, but they do it with their kids. They do it with family members. And right now, there's marriages right now intact that the outside world thinks is perfect that in their heart of hearts, they love somebody else still to this day. I mean, I've seen it all the time. I remember someone sending me a clip about this uh, this old couple that been together for like over 50, 60 years. And, and, and the man finally got tired and said, I want to see if these kids are mine. And the DNA test came back. All the kids that they raised were not his kids. It's the way it is. Is that like we want to romanticize the the Disney fairy tale? And I'm not saying that there aren't people that feel that way. It, it, there is. I, I I just think that. But let's stop trying to kind of avoid the reality that everyone has conditions and what they want to experience in a relationship especially when they get older i'm not saying 19 or 20 no you're right those everyone is like little cubs and like bambies running around and not a care in the world right like they're they're, they're not worried about uh what the the obstacles of the world are they're very free and clear they don't know what relationships and marriages are really like what it's like to adult and keep a relationship healthy and raise kids they don't know that yet right so they have a more wholesome experience on that so a lot of these messages that i see if i was 19 20 year old absolutely like if i was on the verge of finding somebody absolutely but if you've already been married once twice three times and just still is something that that you're still hanging on to you need to be in my opinion i i think you need to be a little more realistic you know this is for guys too you know like i i, I try to be realistic about who i am as a person you know, and I understand, and I understand that a lot of things I ask for, most people can't stomach. But then I also look at my statistics, the conditions that women put on men about what they want coming through the front door. And like I said, I fit height requirement. I fit the dick size requirement. I fit the salary requirement. I fit the stability. I fit the resume. Right. If you like chocolate, guys, if you like vanilla, like if you like caramel, you know, ch like light chocolate, like looking guys that are, that are like semi balding with gray hair. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But I was looking at the percentages and I'm like to find people that are my height, make my money and are single and are in decent shape is less than one percent. Like That's not, you know, you can find them, but they're married or they're already with somebody else. So now you're already playing that. But I guess the, what I was saying was that the whole hypocrisy of people saying that they can't be in polyamorous relationships where many of them are. Many of them already are in, in, in such relationships, but they can't come out and accept it or admit it. And that's where I don't understand that reality. You know, that's kind of for me where I don't really comprehend any of these things that are going on and, and why they, they happen. You know, so I think for me, it's uh, very important to to understand that when we're out there talking this nonsense about uh, love and what it means to you and how it should be is understanding that what what conditions are you bringing to the table? Right. Because I never did for the longest time. You know, I just kind of wanted to be me. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to be me and be accepted for that because I was willing to accept the person for who they were. But when you realize that people want you to accept them for who they are but then they want to impose whatever views and things they want you to be that's when i just started saying fuck it i'm gonna get my own conditions in here uh, if you're gonna ask me to be these things then i'm gonna ask you to be these things because you're not molding or doing as i want as i want to do in a relationship maybe you did for that ex-husband maybe you did for that ex-partner but you're not doing it with me anymore because you got burnt and i get it so I get it, you know, trauma is trauma, but then let's, let's be honest about it and, and let's have conditions. Let's have it be more like a, not a business relationship, but let's put our cards out there and see what works for us and not work for us. Because at this stage in life, once you've already been married, you know, in my case only once, but people at this stage have been married two or three times and they have multiple kids, you know, and, and things like that. It, it's like understanding that, you know, you got to be realistic 
for me anyway, that's what I do. And it's not saying that you have to dilute yourself. I'm just saying that if you're asking for something, like if you're asking for like, you know, like I talked to, um, you know, like, I'm trying to think of somebody I've been talking to that, like, like that. Okay. Let's go back to that girl with, with, with the relationship. You know, she wants a guy that takes care of her. She wants a guy that does all these things. And it's like, well, I mean, first of all, I don't know if the guy's going to trust you. So you're going to deal with a guy with jealousy issues because you're currently in a relationship, you know, and no one's going to take on everything that you're going through financially just because you give good, good head. You know, it's like it, it, it's you have to understand or you have to understand what that person is needing. So a girl in a relationship that wants to be with the single guy, you guys have to have that conversation. And if I was single, I'd be like, you got to do these things for me without any question. You know, it's going to be some double standards here because right now I'm dealing with some double standards from your end. That's the way, and, and, it, and it sounds petty and it sounds bad, but ultimately it's about keeping people accountable for what they bring to the table. That That's really what I try to do. And I, like I said, for me, for what I bring to the table, I'm not, like, I'm not looking for, at this stage right now, at this stage in life, I'm not looking for marriage. I'm not looking for people to move in. You know, if I can get a weekend girlfriend, right, like a, 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 a married girlfriend, uh, someone that's married, but like a, a friend, a, fr a married friend that we go travel from time to time. That that's that's ideal. You know, you know what I'm saying. Like I just want you. You got your husband. He's loving you. You guys are doing the whole Facebook and family pictures and family events. You do all of that. But when you get want to get away for a weekend trip or just have some solo time and you want some cool company, you give me a call. Right. Like that's really what at, at this stage. That's what I want. I don't want to be responsible for anyone's happiness every day um i'll be there as a friend and support and all of that and i'll be there and i'll call you and all of that you know so it's just you know when i tell that to women uh like the one in northport i have no problem but again i can't do everything for you i can't you gotta text you gotta call you gotta be willing to do that and if you want to you know have these conditions every day just know how challenging it's gonna be i know what it is for me Give you time. This ain't my body.